assalamu alaikum students today we are going to talk about how to perform integration by special method known as tabular integration it is very quick method and saves great deal of work it can be applied to certain function in which one of the function is easily differentiated multiple times while the other function can be integrated multiple times there are two cases first is on differentiating one of the function multiple times goes to zero while the other function we integrate whereas in the second case neither f nor g on differentiating goes to zero let's discuss them with their examples first is integrate x square cosine x dx we select one function as f and take its derivative and other function as g and takes its integral so our f is x square when we de take derivative of this function multiple times it goes to zero so write here f and its derivative and here g and its integrals x square cosine x the derivative of x square is 2x derivative of 2x is 2 and the derivative of constant is 0 now write integrals integral of cosine is sine integral of sine is minus cosine and the integral of minus cosine is minus sine now we match them first with second second with third and third with fourth now we write alternate sign first with positive then negative then again positive multiply them first term will be positive x square sin x next term will be minus and minus plus 2 times x into cosine while the last term will be plus into minus minus 2 times sin x plus some constant and this is our required solution let's do one more example suppose we have integrate x into ln x dx we see on differentiating x multiple times we get zero but on integrating ln x it is not possible so we interchange we take this function as f and this function as g so write here f and its derivative and here g and its integrals our f is ln x and g is x when we take derivative of ln x we get 1 upon x when we take integration of x we have x square upon 2 again first with second and second with second first sign positive next with minus and we draw horizontal line now multiply we have positive x square upon 2 ln x then minus integration 1 upon 2 outside the integral and here we have x square upon x d of x this x and this one of the x will be cancel out and remaining we have only x dx when we integrate x we have last term x square upon 2 ln x the integration of x is x square upon 2 so we have 1 upon 4 x square plus some constant 
and this is our required solution let's do one more example suppose we have exponential x into sin x dx so we see this is our second case in which neither f nor g on differentiating goes to zero so for this we choose any function as f and take its derivative and other function as g and take its integrals so write f and derivative and here g and integrals we have f exponential and g sin when we take derivative of exponential we have exponential and integration of sin is minus cosine again derivative of exponential same and the integration of minus cosine minus sin we do it till we get the matching term matching term means this exponential sin x and here exponential sin x both are same so we stop here again first with second second with third and third with third sign will be alternate positive negative then again positive so we have exponential sin x d of x equals to when we multiply we get exponential x into sin x sorry this is cos x and minus outside this minus and this minus plus exponential sin x and this plus and minus we have negative and we write integration sign here exponential and sin and dx we see this is positive and this is negative on simplification when this term goes to left hand side it becomes two times exponential sin x and dx and here we have exponential common we write sin first then minus cosine and plus some constant this 2 is being multiplied when it goes to right it will be divide so we have 1 upon 2 here as well and this is our required solution i repeat one more time when we have one of the function goes to zero on taking derivative and other function we integrate we have this form and in the next when one of the function on taking derivative goes to zero but the integration of other function not possible we change it we take this as f and other function as g on taking derivative one time and integration one time we draw a horizontal line and write in this form and simplify we get our solution and in this case when none of the function on differentiating goes to zero we choose any function as f and other function as g so we stop when we get the matching term so this is exponential sin x and this is also exponential sin x so we write in this form and simplify and get our solution i hope things are clear thank you